Okay, hi, I'm JMO from a company called Xcase. Find us on the web at www.xcase.co.uk. We import uh, rack mount computer chassis and bare bones, and we build up server systems. So this is one of the popular builds we do, and it's in our K125-CP short ITX rack mount server chassis. So this is becoming a popular build. Um, I think it's mostly going to customers running uh, PF Sense, and um, it's very simple, but also a little complicated at the same time. So let's just go over the chassis itself. As I said, it's an ITX chassis. It's got this rather nice front aluminium panel. Panel. You can't see it, but it is actually vented. It's uh, the vents are on a slant, but there is airflow available. You've got a couple of USBs, power switch, reset switch, and uh, LAN activity light and a hard drive activity light. Now one thing you may have already noticed is this is running and it is deadly silence. I mean, you just can't hear a thing. So a couple of complications, I guess, if you're building something like this. Um, we're using a Gigabyte's N3150N. It's got an embedded quad-core processor and a couple of LAN ports, so good board for low cost. Because um, it doesn't have any active fans as well, it keeps the noise down. And we're using the Seasonic 250 SU power supply, which again is deadly silent. And uh, you know, joy of joys, no noise. So on this particular build, we've got uh, four gig of DDR3 and um, an SSD drive. The chassis itself will take two SSDs or one three and a half inch drive. And it has an expansion slot. So you could in theory add more LAN ports Although the expansion slot on the Gigabyte board is a PCI, not a PCI Express. Another issue when building these things up is the standard I.O. shield that would come in your Gigabyte board. is just too tall for a one new chassis. So we're fortunate to have a laser cutter, so we just uh, cut down our own I.O. shields. And if you're interested in building this system up in this case, then we're happy to supply you an I.O. shield for that motherboard.